doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? We'll have all the action for you next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal versus Argentina. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And in attack today, Cristiano Ronaldo plays alongside Rafael Leao. The Argentina first team. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing backs will push further forward to make it a 3 5 2. And now they get the ball rolling. Fernandez. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. take it short oh he looks threatening real chance well the keeper performing brilliantly well that's just incredible he reacted so quickly there short corner favorite Not behind for another corner Fired over by Messi. Struggling to get it away. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Let's see about the delivery. Well, full marks to him for that header. But the goalkeeper did his job. Well, a corner right on the back of the last one. Oh, a very fine header, but it 
it wouldn't go in for him. Oh, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. Now the delivery, and he didn't miss by a massive margin at all. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. They had to go through playoff matches against Turkey and North Macedonia just to get to the 2022 finals. And this past month has been challenging as well, but they're here and they have a well-earned track record as winners. Well, you're absolutely right, but I think they've got better and better as the tournament has worn on. They've got a great understanding of what's required of each player on the pitch. They're good tactically, they've been fit, and I think they've got every chance of being the world champions here, but they're going to have to play well. And they stopped them in their tracks. Alvarez. Now with Messi. Messi. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Bernardo Silva. Oh, he's given the ball away. It's a promising move from Portugal. And blocked for now. Perfect challenge. Good pressure to regain possession. Neves. It's with Joao Cancelo. The players waiting in the centre. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Bruno Fernandes. It comes to nothing in the end. Otavio. Ronaldo. Again, he hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Alvarez. An unforced error, you've got to say. But he's got past his man. Ronaldo. Save, but still a chance. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Well, not hard to read that pass. Well, very effective play in possession. Must score. Well, the keeper had to concentrate. The corner courtesy of Lionel Messi. It might still be problematic. And there it is, the half-time whistle.
underway once more it's advantage Portugal after the first 45 but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over Fernandes not high quality defending Alvarez on to Messi Marcos Acuna well he has the measure of his opponent pretty simple for the keeper oh the keeper needed to do an awful lot better Cristiano Ronaldo oh a nice looking pass a foul and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position here it is now a substitution thought that was in he struck it so cleanly Enzo Fernandez the ball with Martinez about it well they're creating chances they now just need to take one of them mind you what a save that was well attacks are plenty but now defensive resilience is what's called for it's there for him might still be able to do a bit of damage well no damage done well that save just about keeps them in this but they have to pose more of a threat at the other end. Lovely ball over the top. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Time for a change then. And they're trying to get right into his face. And into the last 20 minutes. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. But well, he's decided that no advantage was forthcoming, really, and so it's a free kick. Well, the referee deciding that it didn't warrant a yellow card being handed out. Now, they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Just the challenge that was required. Now can they counter clinically? This could square the game, but the keeper has his say, and how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that, but let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Ronaldo. The supporters want to see him have a go, and the keeper throws himself at the ball. Let's see about the delivery. Otamendi. Molina. Ten minutes to go. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. 
Well, the referee might have been tempted to reach for his pocket, but wasn't. Well, it's a foul, but not a bad one. A warning is just about the right decision. Cross towards that far post. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. This looks more than decent. Martinez! Oh, that's a fine save. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Well, letting it continue to see if, in fact, there was an advantage, but not so. Free kick. Rafael Leao. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. He's got space. And that is how to tackle inside your own penalty area. Martinez. Happy to take on the shot. Tremendous block. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserve it. They were great today. Portugal, the world champions! And this is finally Portugal's time, fully deserved, best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach, he's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans, it's absolutely magnificent for them. So the battle...